However, the government could also give a unit subsidy. If there is a change in variable costs, which there will be because it's a unit subsidy, that means there'll be a fall in variable costs, which means there'll be a fall in both marginal costs and average costs. Let's see what impact that has. So I've set myself back up again. MC equals MR. Initially, this firm would have been making Q star quantity. They would have had a price at P star and their costs would have been at C1. And we can see that their total profit would have been P star A, B, C1. If they were given a unit subsidy, there'd be a fall in variable costs, which would mean a fall in marginal costs and a fall in average total costs. I'm going to show average total cost falling. Average total cost two. I have to cut through the minimum point, so my marginal cost is going to be lower. MC2. Now the point where MC equals MR is up here. I'm going to call this Q2. At that quantity, my price is going to fall to P2, and my average cost is falling to C2. I'm going to draw over that in purple to make it clear. So the difference between my price and my cost is my average profit. My average profit multiplied by quantity gives me the total profit made. And so what is the effect of a unit subsidy? It is an increase in quantity, a decrease in price, and usually an increase in profit. Thank you.